another video today we're going to be looking at the Faber Castle uh, graphite aquarel pencils uh, these are kind of like watercolor uh, but using graphite and we're going to take a look at the Stedler watercolor pencils 24 pack uh, these Stedlers are made in Indonesia and easy to grip ergonomic water soluble so uh, we're going to go look at a uh, couple stages uh, with wet paper, dry paper, and then wet on wet. And with the watercolor pencils uh, or the graphite water water pencils, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to just check it out. I've never tried these before, but I have used watercolor pencils, so kind of getting a little bit of both. So uh, stay tuned. We're going to do the up upside down footage so you can see from the top down and uh, go from there if you have any questions pre uh, feel free to leave it in the comments down below and as always don't forget to keep it over 9000 alright so first before we get to this part um, I am going to uh, unbox them so we're gonna just crack these open this is the Faber-Castell uh, graphite aquarel pencils um, it comes with a brush um, we're not going to use that to actually wet the surface. We're actually going to just use that for um, the blending, the blending of the the graphite. I'm trying not to break the pencils, even though they say it's uh, a okay, really yeah, I can get it. Um, hold on, it's a really stable. All right, so I'm going to use my box cutter to just cut a nice line in there, so I don't damage any of the pencil. Uh, I'm gonna, I have with me my uh, my Co other member of Otero Studios, Co Brooke, co-assistant, whatever you want to call her. Hi. Alright, so we're going to toss that out. If you guys are interested in getting this, uh, this is the packaging. Uh, this is the front. It's dead. Uh, this is Faber-Castle. Um, I got this at Michael's um, uh, with a 40% off coupon. All right, so just to get started, I'll show you what it comes with. We have HB, 8B, 6B, 4B, and 2B. And as I've shown in previous videos, I'll link it uh, over here on this corner over here uh, so you guys can check out my pencil video where I kind of explain uh, the, different, the different numbers. Obviously, it's all darkness. Uh, so the, the higher number you go, the darker the, the lead is and uh, the softer it is. So 8B f almost feels like charcoal. And then it comes with this cool brush. Uh, it looks like it's a... I can't tell if it's 6 or 9. We'll just go with 6 because it, it's... Um, and it needs to be soaked a little bit. I'm just gonna let that soak in there. Alright, so it was... it had that that nice filament when uh, with brand new brushes. So we're going to keep that aside for now. Uh, then what we're going to do is I'm going to draw little spots here. So we're going to grab the HB, which is the, the lightest tone in the pack. We have the 2B. Uh, where's 4B? 4B. So what's the difference between HB and then the number NB? So HB is a mixture of H and B. So it's, um, that lead is going to last you a lot longer, but at the same time, it's, you're not going to get a lot of darkness out of it. Oh. If you really, if you have a really strong enough paper, you can use an HB over and over, and, but it'll start eating at the paper. So that's why you want to have a nice range, so that way you can kind of distinguish how you're going to go about that. Are there any other things besides number numbers in B and B or H? So sometimes you get an F pencil, and F is is a very fine point. Uh, that's usually mixed with H and B. Oh. H and B is like a nice in between. As you can see here, uh, it almost looks uh, almost like it's scratching the paper. The higher you go in B's. There's even a 9B, 10B, uh, it keeps going, but those, the consistency is a little uh, more chalky, like you see here. 
So we're just going to test this out real quick with a little bit of water. Alright. So it's almost like it's blending the graphite. Yeah. I'm going to zoom in a little bit here so you guys at home can see it. Obviously, I could have dampened the surface, but this is just to show you how it blends. Would it do the same with a normal like 2B pencil? It shouldn't. A normal 2B pencil will just Die? become soluble. What does that mean? Let me just clean the brush real quick. I'll show you what it would look like Here. with a normal Here. 2B, mm -hmm. or normal, well this is a 2B, yeah, okay. Here. So this is a normal graphite, and I'm going to use that same brush. You see how it does not blend? I mean it kind of does, but kind of, not but that much. It, it's not spreading with it, whereas I can do this, it'll spread with it. Oh, that's pretty cool. See? You can even go in different directions. Looks this like, is, this will be good for eyelashes. Yeah, it looks like paint. Eyebrows. All right, so now I'm gonna draw a picture with it. So we're gonna just tear this out, Brooke. If you'd like to dispose of that before before I uh, wash down the canvas with a damp brush, I'm not gonna completely wet it. I'm gonna dampen it. Um, we're just gonna just draw a couple guidelines here. Uh, I love drawing monsters, so I'll just draw a quick shape of like a weird looking monster. Just so I know where I'm going. Maybe some weird tentacles. Alright. So you probably can't see it too well just because of the lighting. So now I'm going to take this brush. Just I'm going to wet it and then just get it damp. A little soak, soak it a little bit more. And since I use the Aquarelle pencil, I don't have to worry too much about the graphite going away. It still stays on the paper. It's a little light. I can't see it at all. Yeah, it's just light. It's trying to focus in on it. Oh, yeah. Alright, so I'm going to put that brush there. And then All I'm right. going to grab this 4B. And then just work in on this monster. And you see how it's already starting to blend out. Oh, yeah. That's pretty cool. Alright, so I'm going to take this. It's almost like the Kraken. Cthulhu. It looks like a tiny kid trying to hide his snacks. And because we put water down already, it has that cool kind of bleeding effect. So now we're going to grab our wet brush and we're just going to get in those spots to bring out the graphite. And if there's an area that you really wanted to get to, you can always go back in and really darken it. But the water gives it a lot darker of a uh, finish than regular graphite. So if you were to take those pencils to like draw in the rain, what would happen? Well, first off, your paper will get soaked. What if you had the paper that you're using now? Uh, it would still get soaked. You would just be doing wet on wet, which is kind of what I'm doing here. It's wet on wet. It's not. It doesn't doesn't look like much right now, but if you keep working at it and keep layering it down, you get this cool effect. Really soak in there. All right. So that's test number one. Now next we're going to look at the color pencils. Okay. So next, uh, Brooke's actually going to help me unbox. So, um, Ready? This is the Stedler watercolor pencils. So Brooke, you can go right ahead. There's 24. 
And then did you also get these at Michael's? Uh, these were actually a Christmas gift from from Mom. Oh, cool. All right, so it looks like we got all the primaries here, plus uh, everything in the everything else in the wheel, um, at least tertiary and secondary colors. And then these ones are not shaped like normal pencils. And if you want to show them the barrel, so it's a triangular barrel. Yeah. Um, which is good for for someone like me because I like to draw with the side of the pencil. Yeah. So it's a lot more comfortable. And we have everything from yellow to pink. So w the real test I wanted to run these through is to see if I can blend them with water. So what I'm what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab blue, make sure this is blue. Oh, they're not labeled, so not color not colorblind I can friendly con here. I can confirm that that is blue. Okay. Well, this this looks like blue to me too. Let me see. But it's probably purple, that, right? No, that is indeed blue. Okay. So what we're gonna try to do is make All purple. These, these three are blue. So that's purple. Channel colors are green and purple, so we're gonna do purple. Uh, this looks like red. Just verify. Red. That is indeed red. All right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put these two colors together, put them side by side, and then what we're gonna do is take the brush and try to blend it together. All right. Can I try two? Yeah, we're going to give Brookie a chance to do this. Now, the, the difficult part with this being a triangular shaped barrel is that you can't use a regular sharpener to sharpen them. So you would have to use either a knife or an X-Acto knife Ooh. to sharpen it. Or you can buy a special triangular sharpener. which I don't, I don't know, sure. honey. This looks purple or um, orange to me. That's red. All right. It just looks so orange uh, because of the lighting. If you want, you can use a deeper red. All right. So you see how I'm overlapping here? Here. This is. I guess that kind of looks like purple already, there, right? Here, that's a deeper red. And we'll just do it over here, just so we can see? have. All right. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this brush. Uh, it's still a little damp, but we want to dampen it a little bit more. Yes. Yes, we do. All right. So we're ready. One, two, three. It works. Indeed. Obviously, you don't want to use this much water, but I wanted to make sure that the colors blended. Yeah, it kind of looks like poop. But it is making purple. True. I mean, it's not a very rich purple. It's more of a, like, what would you say, like a maroon? Um, I'd say kind of like a dark purple mixed with um, brown. But that is a cool effect. Uh, this would be good for my blood splatter technique. Yeah. All right, so now we're going to give my turn. Brooke a shot. I will also make purple, but in a different technique. I'm using a little Obviously, we're not going to use such a wet brush. That, that was a mess. Yeah. Here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tap it down. Yeah, tap, tap, tap. That looks a lot better. All right, my turn. All right. I'll just do it. Make sure you're on camera. Is it? Yes, it is. I'm going to take multiple blues, mix them together. Should I use the light blue or the dark blue? Uh, use the light blue. Okay. And then I'm going to use what, a light red. Yeah. Um, Alright, okay. so Brooke, uh, show us how you're going to mix this now. So I'm going to mix it like right. this. I got the brush kind of damp now, so. Alright. I'm going to do it. Now Brooke's going to blend it out. Now we're just going to zoom in a little bit on that. So you did this. I'm going to try doing this. If you need a little bit more water, you can. Oh, wow. Look at that. You're a natural. I use two different types of each. See? That gives it a really good look. Now we're going to try wet on wet. Oh, so, yay. So we're going to wet the canvas. And then what color do you want to use? Uh, go with green. Green? Light or dark? Channel colors. Doesn't matter. Alright, we'll All do right. medium. So this center center area is the wet area. Okay. So, I'm gonna do... What do you want me to do? Just anything. Alright. Um, do a leaf. I don't well, know how to draw a leaf, so I'm gonna do... Here, I'll do it then. I'm gonna, no, I'm gonna do an emoji. I'm gonna do this... The heart emoji. Right. You want me to shade it in? No, I'll shade it in. Kind Look at that, works. it's already blending. Let's try adding a darker right, green. Now, now I'm going to do what you did. 
and just pick out of it. No, not like that. You gotta have it damp, not wet. That's wet. And you gotta do this. Oh. Well, it's because we're doing wet on Here. wet. It's not gonna have the same effect. Whoa! That is indeed green. <gasps> you can use this as eyeliner too. Well, let's not do that. Yes, let's do it. All right. All righty. So that was the color pencils. Settler Ooh. watercolor pencils. I have an idea. Let's try uh, doing a fading these, rainbow. These are pretty cool. So we're just gonna let Brooke do a quick one here. I'm gonna just get a fresh yeah. paper. <laughs> Should I do wet on wet or dry on nope, wet? dry. I feel like dry looked better. Yeah. Obviously, what you want to do with these is do a full piece before you color or yeah. uh, put wet, water yeah. down. Because then you can hit the areas that you want to saturate um, and blend out. And then the areas that you want to keep fine line, what color you is can this? leave those fine line. Is that red? It's orange. Okay. So... No, not yet. Doing the whole rainbow. What color is this? Yellow. Good job. Light or dark green? Whichever one. Alright, we'll do... We gotta get this water out of here. What so color is this? I get terrified with it on the, next to the computer. We'll close Just go, go, go. What color is this? Light or dark blue? Dark blue. Okay. Because the blue on the rainbow is, is indigo. I thought it's indigo not, was purple. No. Weird. Indigo is like an in-between blue and purple. Okay. Now we're going to do purple. There's only one purple here. That sucks. Alright, should I go up and down or sideways? Whichever way you want. Well, All if right. the rainbow goes that direction, why don't you paint in that direction? Alright. All right. No, I don't need any more water. Okay. Alright, I'm going to try... You want to have your brush even, not split to the side. Well, that's just my crap brush, so... True. Oh, that's cool. And then water? It's like Pink Floyd. Water? Pink Floyd, please do not copyright strike me. <laughs> copyright strike him. That is awesome. Alright. This is going to be some really cool effects that I'm going to be able to do with the sketch cards now. Me too. I'm going to make some. This is going to take a fat minute, so... Try going in a different direction now. I will. I like that a lot better. Yeah, because when you were going down, you were blending the colors together. Yeah. Now you're just spreading them out. All right. And ta-da. That's awesome. Well, awesome. I want to thank Brooke for being uh, on the video. So if you have a cup like this here and you have trouble getting the right amount of water, take a rubber band and put it over the top like so. And then if you get your paintbrush too wet, you can do that. All right. Thanks, Brooke, for the awesome tip. You're welcome. All right. So I want to thank everybody for watching. And uh, thank, thank you to Brooke for being a help, um, helpful addition to this video. Um, if you enjoy Brooke being in the video, let me know in the comments down below. I'll we'll have her on more of the art reviews and uh, more of the sketches. Yay. As always, don't forget to keep it over 9,000. Hit the like button, share, and take care. Thank you for watching.